Hello everyone, I'm Jerome right here again, and um, you're with me again on my YouTube um, Jeronification channel. Um, I'm creating yet a um, another video, and I'm back here at a different painting. This is the um, Garden of Eden that you're actually looking at here. And um, untitled artist, I, I guess we'll find out who that is later there, but um, I'm going to be doing a few pit images of um of um the garden of eden um one is um again is untitled and i guess the other one is by um i think it's william shang and um our strange 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 i guess it is and um from 1896 and i've done a um a a garden of eden or adam and eve image of um a titian um some time ago and I created a video and put it here and um it was just based on images and everything that I seen I guess would um but it was very little explanation of actually what was being go what was going on and what's being referenced in these renaissance artists art well not even renaissance artworks that actually reference um the um the um, the mythical moment of Adam and Eve right um, if you've been um, watching my videos and all, pretty much my videos are discussing how I discovered the genetic, <clears throat> the genetic blueprint, um, or the genetic grail, or holy grail, to how mankind was um, created, and through these bizarre images that we see in, in these bizarre biblical stories and um, bis um, 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 bizarre mythical stories of how mankind was half human half creature and animal and all of this how most of these stories are referencing historical moments in time which were pr pretty much 80 80 to 85 percent of it were true because these things were actually these moments where these references were um references of that of how mankind was genetically bridged over animals and these moments actually happened and, um, never proven, but then and again it was proven because there were people, artists, and um, other people in places like um, some of your ancient rooted religion and, and um, um, religious um, sects, they knew how mankind came into existence and how we were created, and it was actually kept from us. Um, this should come as no surprise because this stuff is already recorded on um, on glyphs that are in um, ancient Egypt, on monument walls, on on um, in temples, pyramid temples, in the Mayan culture, and at, at Angkor Wat, um, and it was just been just all in in um, with the it was uh, Sumerians, with the Anaki. All of this stuff is already referenced on how mankind genetics were intermingled with that of these creatures of our world dinosaur and everything else and um our culture our modern day culture and science and technology just didn't, just didn't let us see it that way you know what i mean they always said that there was no proof while the people on the higher up level of this totem pole of knowledge knew all along that it was factual in fact they had evidence of it now, I'm going to take and um, I'm going to show you something here in this in this painting with Adam and Eve and all. All you got to do is either Google um, the Garden of Eden or just Adam and Eve, and this is one of the popular searches of the images that have come up. You don't see no ape in here. You see a little monkey right there, right there, but you don't see the actual reference of our ancestral ape. Would you say, well, how come this is that's not in here? Because, and this goes to show you how they tried to hide all of this from, or black man, or African. Or come, how come you don't see African in here at this point? You know why? Because it rises to the level of encryption that lets you know that if they, if that was in here, if they knew all of this, then you knew that they knew that mankind evolved from ape and and Africa. But look, none of that stuff is included if you notice in all of these images of Adam and Eve why is there no 
reference of eight. Are any? I mean, I mean, why in the world is that not in there? Are, are Africans? Why are these references not there? You know why? Because they are encrypted. They're encoded in there. Because they knew that that was the key to you understanding who you were. So it was never included. Every Renaissance artist pretty much did the same exact thing. From Michelangelo to Leonardo da Vinci. Um, um, to Rembrandt. I mean these guys knew. Bernini. They knew that for you to see the ape in here then they would know that, that that there was a significant value in that creature being here and the genetic blueprint as to how mankind was created now there's the little monkey down there okay that's the that's that's the smallest inkling of an idea just a little baby monkey our ape ancestor though however is actually there he's right here right there his head is right there and you, and another likeness a darker likeness is of him is here you know why he's there encrypted because it's shown that he's bridged over the horse and it's showing this little guy here how these genetics were broken down and later caused I mean for other genetic um, um genes of mankind I'm gonna show you let me bring the image in so I can show you right here what that ape looks like let me see if you can see it first without my highlights and you see that guy right there? There's his cranium there. There's an eye. There's an eye. Let's see if I can get this right. Coming over the bridges of his nose. There's his nostril, nostril. And his mouth line is right there in the main of the outstretched mane of the horse. Between the, between the horse and the dung. See it right there? I'm going to bring it in. I have it actually um, highlighted better so you can actually see. See the highlight there that I actually made of the eight? Right there. Then if you notice that the mane of the horse comes over his head, and then there's a darker image of the ape right there, showing you that our ape ancestor was genetically bridged over not the likeness of this horse, but you have to think of how the, the representation of the horse on what the horse evolved from those creatures. It's the genetics of this guy that this guy was genetically bridged over. All right, this is the horse likeness as that we know it of today. What I'm telling you is that the ancestor, dating back during the time when mankind's genes were being genetically bridged, well, they're still being genetically bridged. But what I'm telling you is that this is why these references of these horses are there. Okay. And it's showing that we were genetically bridged over this over this creature. And there's the likeness of the ape to get other likenesses of mankind that would result in different hairstyle colors, different facial features, and different um, skin um, pigmentations. Okay, now there's more to this, people. I'm going to keep going and all, but I'm going to show you. I just want to break down what the Garden of Eden is all about here. Next, let me see if I can get this image in. Where's the smaller image of guard, the Garden of Eden here? Uh, I should have a smaller picture. Where is that smaller guy at there? I can never seem to find anything when I'm actually making these videos. I have a smaller... Oh, yeah. No, that's not it. I have a smaller picture of the Garden of Eden. Now, where is it at? Or is this it? No, this is not it. There's actually two lines... Um, over here rustling on the ground and I wanted to actually bring that in oh gosh uh, <laughs> bear with me for a minute people um, alright I guess I gotta continue on without it but why is that image not here and I specifically brought in two of them alright basically there are two lines here. I'm upset because I can't find this image. Oh, here it is, here up underneath my clipboard. Hold on. Alright, I found it. It's underneath, it's underneath my clipboard here. 
these videos are not scripted at all, people. I'm just, I mean, I get the desire to make one, and I just actually just go at it. All right. Here, you see two lions actually wrestling and laying on the ground. It's showing you, again, a genetic bridging. First of all, on this side, this represents the reptilian tree of life which no one knows about, mean, meaning that we, that creatures of our world, including us, were genetically bridged over reptilians. There are mutations and faces in here that I can see that you can't see, and I know what they are and who they are. All right, that's, that's, that's the first thing. And then if you notice how this tree of life, of that of mankind, which you'll see it branching off. You'll see a branch coming off behind Eve, and coming over and branching and this is a story of basically all of these images of what it is showing you genetic branching of how there was a, a break off of, 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 of one genetic to another and then these bridgings and that's what all of this is about and then when you start seeing these different color let me, let me see when you start seeing these different color dogs here um, it shows you how there's a breakdown in these genetics and even here I don't know if you can see right here where you have this this um this one creature almost like a wolf there looking green in color and then back here where these camels are again there's um a, a representation of that creature green in color showing you the different um, um genetic bloodlines showing you that there is a reptilian presence in these breakdowns and this is what this is all about it's a genetic grail now let me get back to this to this image here. Now I showed you the ape. Did you guys see that that ape? I'm gonna bring that because that's where I was at. The ape right there, shown bridged over the horse. There's the ape. So why couldn't they just put that monkey there? I mean, it almost looks like um like a a silverback um ape or one of those type of the larger. Why couldn't they just show us that? Why did they have to encode it in there? Again, if that ape was up in there. So on both sides, it's shown encrypted in the mane of the horse. You know why they didn't show up? Because they would let you know them because you're bridged over that. And, and then it shows you also, man is a representation of ape as well too. So that's why you see in the later images, you see the man and the horse together, which is actually signifying the same thing. But this is showing you a breakdown in those genetics and how you got black. This is the representation of black, Africa, Africans, ape, ape. Africans and then mankind, the, res the resulting later image, and this is what this is all about. Okay, now wherever you have ape, the representation of Adam and Eve, the true representation from where they, which they evolved, you have the witch-like woman who is the mother of creation, and she is right there. There's her eye. There's her nose. There's her top lip her open mouth and then here's her chin and you have seen this now she's in a position almost like you know what creates her hair the coiling body of the snakes Medusa can you see that people uh, is that this, this is my highlighted image or no I believe it is this is my highlighted image that's how come you can see that so good you can see her right there now. There's Medusa, the witch-like woman, who I dub as the mother of creation. You can call her Madonna. You can call her, um, what are these other uh, images? But this is the equivalent of that, and that's why she's actually there. Now, what else is there? It's showing you, you see this gazelle or this um, this antler type creature right down here, this um. This um at like antelope creature with these with these um antlers on it. She she's showing you again that there is a bridging over. And then Eve is reaching up here, taking that apple, these genetics from these mutations that you can't see. What mutation is there? Well, if you flip it over that way, this guy's that that guy right there, that antler or that that deer-like creature right there, his whole face is here in the tree. Now check it out. Now you see Eve taking an apple. 
You see their exchange there with an apple. Now look at this guy. Now mind you, this is this is the the, the tree of life, mankind's tree of life right here. Now mind you. So what is this open mouth of this antler? There's the nose right there. Shown taking a bite of the apple as well too. And the eye right here creates the mouth opening of this witch-like woman who has the snakes in her hair. You see that, people? Well, actually, there's another eye as well there, too, and I know what that creature is. I'm going to hold that. You see that? That creates the eye opening as well, too. You see that? And look at this. These encryptions, people, let us know how we came to be. Now, what is going on over here? I'm going to just... That's, that's two encryptions. Then I'm going to bring you back here and, 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 and another major encryption. So look at these two. Look at the woman up here in the tree right there that I highlighted. Again, there's her eye, her nose, her mouth, her chin. And it creates these other images there. The tree of life. And you have to know what's going on. The founding stones and all of that, people. It's these genetic bridgings with these creatures that calls for different likenesses. Now, how this explains how we got from our ape ancestor that hold on let's go to the darkest one over here on this side from our darkest state of ape ancestor that of Africa the blackest African man that you can possibly think of to how these other likenesses came it shows you a calculated systematic manipulation and genetic alterings of mankind's gen genes that began not just here but before here our evolution from space that that instinctive mindset from us be of, of being micro microorganisms landing this world these creatures knew and had in their mind that they were going to evolve to this and beyond which is still going on right now and I'm telling you that it's happening in the Vatican and with our kings and queens of this world we are genetically being altered in a systematic way and our changing faces throughout our evolution are caused by these precise and calculated genetic manipulations through creatures of our world we are being bridged. Now, I'm going to show you something. Again, I'm going to bring up another painting too. I don't want to get carried away. The lions over here. The lions over here playing. I mean, not playing, but you see those two different lines? First of all, you can see the um, like the goat-like creature there. Again, splitting that tree with the with a line. But look at look at these two guys right here. Look at all of this here. You see that? Then it's shown as bridging over to this side. So what is the result of what's happening here? If you look up in the tree here, look at that cat-like creature right there. I'm at the the chin, and there's another one there too. There's a chin, there's a mouth, there's a nose, there's an eye, and look at the points of how the like the the, the line fit. You ever see our line that has it's actually the reptilian face of a lion man there. And then there's a red eye right there. Is that larger? Do I have that larger? Let me see if I can break it. I think I might have that highlighted. That is a face. Come on. There it is right there. I can bring it. Look at this. Look at this creature's face there. There's the nose. There's the mouth line. There's the bottom lip. There's the chin. And then just like the um the uh, the, the the spot like the leopard or the cat, look those triangles in their face. Look how the leaves cleverly create that in the cheekbone right here. There's the bridge of the nose, and then there's a red eye, and then this is the top of the head area. Look at that face right there. This is a reptilian mutation from what's going on down here in the ground. Now, I might have it highlighted here. Look at this. Now that that brings it in a little better. Look at this creature. Created in the shadows of the forms of the tree there. Showing you these these faces of, 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 of beings 
that these artists actually knew about. In a time where, I mean, it, it shouldn't have been known. Now, hold on now. So, what's going on? It's showing us, hold on, let me get this back right, because I don't want to get sidetracked. Because I know I've got your attention here. Let's go back up here. Showing you how these genetics were created and then defeated later on. Because these are dominating genetics. There's an inward battle of these genetics within mankind. And that's what this is all about. Okay? Now, you see them over here lively and, 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 and wrestling with each other. It's, it's a battle of genetics. These genetics were created over here. And then the artist is telling you that they were laid to rest over here and that of mankind. And mankind emerged. Cocktail, cauldron-like, cult-like ritual over here. Everything over here brewed in. Shows you how they evolved through the black man, through the eight. Now check this out. And then they were laid to rest over here. You want to see it? Notice here, this rock that Adam is sitting on is the head of that of a cat of a big cat like a like a um I forgot what you call that not a saber tooth tiger well pretty much like a saber tooth tiger or a leopard and then look at this paw sticking out of the ground showing you that those genetics that were created here long ago mankind emerged off of them and defeat it genetically and this is where our likenesses came from now I'm going to show you the same exact thing in another picture and this is why these rocks are colored in a way that look like that of what we have over here it's showing you a genetic and systematic breakdown of these genetics now I'm going to show you that image closer up and there we have it right there and you will actually see the paw of that cat right there encoded of course and it's showing you that it was morphed out well not it's showing you the artist showing you it's morphing away out of the painting but what's happening is it's showing you that mankind emerged over the genetic bridging of these creatures all of these creatures that you see here played a contributing role and how these likenesses here were bridged out of the likenesses of our ape ancestor and this is why we have these different cultures and civilization groups that look so differently from each other because it is an emergence from everything that is being bridged over. And I know exactly how it was done, too, by the way, people. Now, I want to show you another similar. Do I have anything else I want to show you here? Is that line? Oh, and if you look closely, there's also in here, if you look in here between Adam's legs, and there, you will see faces of dogs and everything else. And there's other artists that do, do the same exact thing. I can I can link this to everything, to every artist's work. But here I have it highlighted. If you look between here, you will see mutated faces of dogs that, and 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 um and half human, half animal mutations and, and things that actually emerge from it. There's one right there between Adam's legs, and it lets you know at this point which genetic is actually coming from, and this is simulating what was coming from Adam's penis at this time. These genetics that are together with the um, genetics of that of mankind. Based on these mutations, almost looks like I see, in fact I do see something up in here, here and here. I didn't even see that before. But this is, these morphing images, how his face is turned up, you see that there? I didn't even see, I'm going to have to take a look at that and see what I see there oh yeah I do see something there there's a face of a woman in Adam's face I don't even think that and it, you, I can see it turned up in that direction as well too but there's a woman's face in Adam's face too I'm gonna see if I can show that to you upside down look at this I didn't even see this but here I'm gonna show you something Look at Adam's face here, and then right here at his eye, there's a mouth, there's a chin there, and then right here, there's a nose, there's an eye in his hair, 
and then there's a nose there. There's a face of a woman in Adam's face right there. You can probably see it better right there. Right there. The eye is here. There's a nose. There's a mouth and the chin. It's his face is dubbed with that of a woman. I didn't even see that before. All right. But I know what it means. All right. Good enough. Um, Let me show you something else here with another picture. I love this picture here. Look at this guy right here. Look at this. Look at that. Right there. I love this. This is this is amazing. And then we have them sanding on the genetics of these mutations. I mean, of these genetic bridge and, and mutations. It's showing you here. And then there's the, 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 the burial of the cat genes and showing you that they emerged. And this is where these likenesses came from. And that's why you have these figures looking the way that they do. And they're telling you, hey, yeah, look, I was bridged. I used to be like this here. Showing you their black ancestor over here. Then showing you how they were bridged over and how the likeness of, of that creature broken down. And then they, you'll see the, the, these vines snaking over the atom. You know what I mean? Then showing them bridged over this on how they got to finally looking like this. By the way, people, I too, I know where the Garden of Eden is. There's only four, I mean, there's only one place, and, and actually, uh, I guess it would be the Fountain of Youth and all of that stuff that they're talking about. There's only one place in our world that, that all of the, all rivers come together. There's only one place, and I know what it is. It's more so like a riddle. And I know where that place is at, based on everything through my discovery. Okay? Alright, here's another image of Adam and Eve by... Oh, you know what I wanted to mention too? Isn't it amazing that what killed in all of these Renaissance artists how they either use the black and white dog or the brown and white dog? Showing you a breakdown in genetics of that and our black and white ancestors. Yeah. That's what oh, one more other thing. Do I have her with a horn here? The antler on this guy here? Besides her having her snaky head, the mother of creation, she also has, if you look, she has a horn coming right there. That's not part of this. That's a horn. See the horn coming out there? And I'm going to show you something else before I get to that. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to bring up another image of the, um, the Garden of Eden. Let me bring both of them up in fact. This is by um, um, Adam and Eve by William Strang, Strange or Strang, Strang, 1896. Remember I told you about the two-tone creatures? You see those two-tone creatures right there? Representation that shows you how genetics was breaking down. I gotta bring this in closer. Strangs do the same thing. A strang with the rabbit is indicating. How the dominating genes of white is starting to kick in, and there's a break, the systematic breakdown of, and um, and a distancing from that of the evolution of us evolving from that of being black, and how whiteness actually came over, and this is why also if you see in all of these images why Eve is looking whiter and Adam is actually looking like a red in color are shown being more that of being black than he is white showing you a bridging over now again they're on the founding stone here so what's going on first of all the tree of life the serpent I know what all of this means shows the reptilian presence of being bridged over and that's what this is all about now if you notice here look at each foot standing on a branch she's saying look I was broken off the branch, the tree of life, and I'm genetically bridged. What you don't see is that these rocks hold the keys to our genetics. And this is in a lot of my discoveries. I'm going to have to start summoning this up too. Now, I'm going to show you something here down in the rock. Let me, let me get one face for you up. Because this is remarkable here. In this one here, I'm going to show you 
the face of that of a Here's the here's the lion face. Alright. I highlighted this. In the rocks. Here we have the regular cat, just like in the first image. We have those 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 lines and just like in this image here. It's showing you the line. Who is this by by the way? I don't even have this label. I don't know who this is? There's another one. You see the lion and the deer right there? Okay. Look at this. How this artist hit it in the rock, and I highlighted this. Look at the open mouth of the cat over this rock, implying the same thing that's happening here. And then look, it's showing you that these genetics were were created, passed along, shown Eve bridged over these 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 genetics. Here's a bigger version of it here, bridged over, and now she's reintroducing them back to Adam after she was bridged with these creatures. It's a cyclonation of genetics and genetic bridging. Now look. Check it out. Look at this, people, because this this is in raw form here. You Google this image. This is by William Strang. Strang. There's a face of a lion there, encrypted into the rock. If you notice that the lion is shown morphing this guy here, this rabbit, showing you a breakdown in the genetics of that of black and white. This is what this is about. Then it shows these rocks, these this trail off, and then this stick right here shows you that this, she was branched off for these genetics. Eve. Now being reintroduced, breaking down the genetics of mankind and sent back into the um the founding stones. And this here image is consistent with every um Renaissance artist artist work that I've actually seen with the most blatant and most outright that's describable being that of Salvador Dali that shows that these genetics were bridged out of Africa bridged out of Africa then turned around recycling and what they create they send these genetics back into Africa to destroy and continue manipulating the genetics of that of Africans and that shows this is to show you how we are genetically changing it's like a washing of genetics that are changing and altering the genetics of mankind they're bridged out they're sent out to all of these nations and then keep cycling back over and over and over again and the, I guess the the controllers of this have the best benefit of all of this because the people that this stuff is happening to are actually experiments and being watched to see them for the result. The ones that are sitting back and watching this stuff, the Vatican and the kings and queens of our royalty, all you have to do is just look at their behavior, people. And I can show you an artwork after artwork on how it is being done. It's referenced in the, um, the Lost Book of Nostradamus. It's referenced in, in every. It's referenced in the Bible. It's referenced in every ancient text that this is happening exactly as I just now said it. Now you have a line right here, encrypted in the rock. Now I'm going to hold that picture up there because I'm going to turn this, and I'm going to give you the deer. Remember we had that deer in the in the other images. So. Now check this out. Where we at here? I gotta give you the deer. Now look, I, I'm turning this image, the same image, the lion's one way. Check it out. You see the lion right there with the mouth open, with the rock in his mouth. Now you turn it this way. Why is there a deer doing the same exact thing? There's the nose of the deer. The deer's. Um, this is the top snout area of the deer. I don't know if you can see it as well there. I'm going to bring it in. There's the eye. And look at this, the genetic snaking off of the deer. And going up.
Can you see that, people? Now, you have to Google the image and see. I don't know if you can see it as good as I can. But even gives the deer black news. And it shows you that this the deer is on the rock, too. It shows the deer and the lion bridged over the founding stone, the genetics. And then it's bridged over here to break down the genes of mankind shows all of these genetics I don't know if you can see that but it's stating that artist is stating the same thing that is here mankind bridged between these creatures and the tree of life which is representation of that of the ape Africa and all of the above and each artist says the same exact thing but in a different way, in a different encryption style. And this is why you can see the ape there. The likeness of that ape right there. And even see a reptilian face right here. Torn away. See that? See that there? Oaked up to the ape. All of these encryptions. See that, that, that reptilian face morphing that of the ape? And for those of you to say, well, what is a reptilian doing with ape? Look at my other videos with Nervy Hall and the Vatican and all of that. We had a reptilian ape ancestor. You see, you see the black ape there? He on this side in the horse's mane? It's showing you that them genes were broke down with reptilian genes. And look at this. It, this is morphing this. Look at that scary ghost-like face. Nose, nose, eye socket, mouth, bottom lip, chin. And then look at it. It's morphing the face of the ape. Is it there? Um, this is not where I have it drawn in at right here. I think one of them I have highlighted. But anyway, the face of the yeah, it's here. It's on this one. And you actually, that's why you've seen it better there. Cause I have it. You see that? Look at the head of the ape. That the long head ape. Not the not. This is this is the long headed ape. That I forgot what you call it, like a razorback. That that high head forehead. I, I, even because the nostrils are coming down to the mouth. Google the image, people. Now, there's something else that I wanted to tell you about this, and I forget what it is. Oh, this guy with the antlers. This guy right here. Where these genes were bridged over back in that day, when these genes were bridged over. Now this, people, this didn't happen, well I guess it would have actually happened during the time of Adam and Eve, but there's a time before that that's actually left out. It's showing you that they evolved off of this. Now, what did mankind look like before there was this images here? Well, it shows you. This is how mankind's images became looking like this. And they're talking about devils and all of that. This is a skull that was found on Earth in, um, in I think, in upstate Pennsylvania somewhere some, some, um, some years ago. And then it disappeared from the museum. You can actually know what you do is um, um, devil skull or human skull with the horns. All you have to do is Google that um that image there i mean um that that and this is what you will come up with but look at this skull and then it has like a like a uh, i guess what i don't know if you call that what do you call that like the like the jewish people wear that cap it actually has one of them on this was found in pennsylvania along with many others and from what i understand read it up on the story a little bit it disappeared it was stolen from the museum. I, I don't know if it was 1901 or the late 1800s or somewhere. You can Google the story. Our devil, this is why I am not afraid of this stuff because I know where it came from. This stuff came from our genetic bridging over these creatures. And surely if the genes of a deer with antlers kicks in in the, in the genetic bridging of that of mankind. 
then obviously and a, a, a mutation would come with that affluence. It's only logical, people. That from these genetic bridgings, look what this is saying, people. Man and woman, deer, lion, at the tree of life, we were all genetically bridged over each other. And then reptiles, reptilians, I'm sorry, representation of the snake. Surely, people, you can expect likenesses and mutations such as this. These mythical, we have to go back and look in our history on everything that is being said. I'm telling you right now that the truth was always told to us and we overlooked it. Because they gave it to us in of such a way that it seemed unbelievable. And when in fact, you know what, there's this old story about this, and I used to hear it, and you probably used to hear it too when you was growing up, is that when somebody tells you the truth, you say it can't be, it's a lie. But when they tell you a lie, you can easily accept it as the truth. My people, that's what reality is. Reality was given to us in truth in the mythical sense, so we looked at that as a lie. And it was the truth. The lie that they gave us is this mythical thing about Jesus and, I mean, not mythical thing about this story of Jesus and all of these fairy tale scenarios, and you believe that. So, the fairy tales, you believe. Like from that, of, like the Bible and comparable other stories like that of Walt Disney. All of this stuff is, 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 is divine to you and appealing to you. And then the mythical stories about these half animals, the Minotaur and the Senator and all of this stuff here, is more so like a fantasy to you. Mythical. Not true. Unfounded. And then here I come along and show you that is reality. Now, what can you see through my eyes? Because I'm claiming to have a true paranormal experience and encounter. Well, I know what the Garden of Eden is. I know what reality is, and I know exactly everything that actually is actually happening and going on. And that's the reason why I can do stuff like this here. This is what the Garden of Eden is telling you. Right here. This is my creation. There's our deer. There's his horn. There's our reptilian, a reptile. There's the serpent. You have a man seated. There's his right leg. There's his left leg. And it's showing these genetics through mankind's body. If you if you know at this point you're supposed to know everything that man stands for. Eight, the whole nine, these genetic bridgings. Now through his penis, new genetics are being spliced off. There's a hand coming through showing you what's an incision razor. Slicing off these genetics, which were cocktailed up here in a culture in a way, sliced off this genetic. And where are these genetics going? Let me see if you can figure this out here. Let me lean this. Can I lean that up? Or I want to. Maybe I should get this up. Let me get this up some. I'm going to bring these up. This is my artwork. Where are these genetics going? The new genetics. I'm doing this to two people, by the way, because I'm hoping that the likes of those of the kings and queens and the Vatican and people that know about this stuff 
they hear me. They hear me loud and clear in the message that I'm actually sending. This is the reason why I'm doing this. That's the reason why I'm showing this. So what is this down here? What is all this down here? <sighs> this is our reptilians. This is our new created bloodline. This is our reptilian. You know what this is? The man is laying down. I mean, I'm sorry. The man is sitting down and coming down underneath him. Beneath him. This here is the hood of that of a nun, which represents the virgin. At first I gave her no face. And then I put a face in. There was no face there. And I actually first did this. Where are we at here? Uh, uh, still alive. There was no face there. And then I created the face, the mother of creation, on the back with the eye of Ra. And then on the top there, there's a bird. Right there, there's a bird. Now what's happening? Now I put a face there now for you to, to actually realize with me. See the lips there? The nose and the eye. These genetics are being spliced over. And this virgin is being cross-reference as indicated and genetically bridged and that's what the cross means cross-referencing of these genetics and this is what is being snaked out this is this genetic cross-referencing these genetics are being brewed and this is why this is what Christianity is all about this is what uh, most of these Religious groups is all about, this is about a cross-referencing of mankind's genetics, and this is the reason why it is said that the woman is supposed to stay pure and virgin-like. I'm telling you that what's being happened is, there's a cross-contamination um, of mankind's genetics, and these supposedly kept virgin virgins are being introduced with these genetic bridgings, which is taking place globally mainly at the Vatican, the, the number one cross-referencing center of all of mankind's genetics. And these genetics are being given to our nuns and to the virgins. And then these genetics are taken back out and reintroduced to contaminate the nations of our world. Now, what is these symbols here? Over here you see it says Jerome Wright Vision. You see a cross with black on the outside. The, I mean, um, the cross in the middle representing the blood. Then you see over here my initials on top of a key. It's my position that I hold the key to everything. Not only to the knowledge of all of this, but the key to the cross-referencing points of all of the, everything that's being said here. I am the key. I had a true paranormal experience and encounter, an out of body and spirits, where I was taken into space, and I look back upon our world. I'm telling you that everything that was done here. Everything that is being stated here, not just there, but in the, um, the, the Garden of Eden. That I am a representation of all of this. And I got it directly from the true source. From the originating source. And not from the man-made, the artificial way. I can see this stuff. Through my multidimensional sense of awareness, being, and intervention, I guess, you, if you want to say it that way. And everything of our world, I can take it apart systematically, which references how mankind was created. I can journey any place in our world, mentally, physically, or spiritually in mind. And I can keep bringing you back, I don't care what culture it is, a breakdown of who we truly are. 
My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. Um, you can also catch me on Alien UFOs. And I want to show you something else before I go. Let me see if I can draw this upside down. I always like drawing an image upside down or so. Let me take this down. You got a picture of that? How can I do this kind of stuff, people, like that? And by the way, this is one of my first images. Look at this, people. This here actually is taken off of an image that I actually seen. Not all of this down here, but this here part. I've seen this first in a um, in a painting that you couldn't even possibly even see it. This encrypted itself into a, um, a painting of Sir Frank Dixie. And this is what it would look like. Pulled in. You can't even see it. And in fact, this circle right here is I had to magnify it to get it up to actually pull it in. And that's what that little highlight is. But once I started seeing it, I pulled it in. See the antler up there? People, this is truly amazing. What did I pull up here? I don't know what I pulled up. Oh, um, oh, I just lost. Doing that, I lost another image. I ha just had another image that I wanted to show you, but now I can't even do that now. All right, I'm going to get going. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. And um, oh, I know what I've seen, but I, it's hard to see. It's actually two faces. I don't know if I can show you what this here. Let me show you. This is the. Remember the one face up here that I showed you? It's showing you both of those lines. Look at the other one. Looking down. Right here at the mouth of this one. Here's the one face. Look at that right there that I pointed out. And then at the at the mouth there it is eyes, there's the nose, and then there's the top lip, and then there's the open mouth. It shows the two morphine faces of those genetics, one up and one down, looking down, showing you how the genetics of these guys um, that were down there on the ground playing together, how they were pulled together in a reptilian bloodline right there. How these two guys genetically bridged over this cocktail here, and these creatures were taken in into a reptilian bloodline, and then finally bridged over, branched over, and broke well, actually broken down. It's showing you how these genetics are systematically, these dominating genetics, which were systematically broken down, and all of this people was done to bridge over the dominating genetics of that of our black ape and African ancestor which were closer to the rooted genetics of our originating source of creation and which were a dominating gene and it just shows you how these genetics were broken down remember how they used to say back in the day it was with a white woman and a black man got together the baby is considered black or will come out black. Do you notice now that that's being said less, more so for the simple reason that there's a breakdown in the black gene that's actually causing for now, and I bet you if science was to look at it, and see to come the coming together of a black woman and a, and a black man how these genes are actually at a point are becoming more and more weak the presence of the black gene is becoming weaker in the in the um and the gene of the of our white counterpart is actually showing a stronger presence and that's what this is all about the domination of genes it's a battle of the of, of, of the genes and that's what the story of the Bible is all about. That's what that's what's going on. And I mean, in the years to come, 
the ancient rooted genetics which we evolved from are going to be totally and systematically broken down Jerome right you're watching my Jeronification channel um, I'm not a scientist I'm not none of none of those type of experts that actually can actually explain this in a way that it deserves to be explained I'm doing it all in a layman's sense okay meaning freelancing and I'm just winging at people unscripted um, just telling it through my sense I just know that I'm having a true paranormal experience and encounter and I'm giving it to you in a sense that where it's just just flat out and you'll have to just use your common sense to say hey this guy is 100 absolutely percent right but that's the reason why all of these paintings look as strange as they do why else people would you have two people naked and in some cases with children they make it in divine with wings and all that this is why this is all being stated is saying that these beings evolved through genetics and genetic bridging of all of this beings, these beings here. And this is the resulting image. Look at how their hair in this case is here is the resulting that of that of the lion. Look how our eyes resemble that of the creatures of our world. And all this from us evolving from eight. What makes better sense? If science has already proven, science has already done it. It said we evolved from eight. So therefore, the different types of apes and all of this here, what makes more better sense? These genetic bridgings? Or do you want to believe that a hand came from the sky? And done this or was it in fact done through an extinctive knowledge that evolved with us from space onto our planet in microorganism state and it's being done systematically like I just now said thank you for watching I'll see you in my next video works that actually reference on um, the um, the um, the mythical moment of Adam and Eve Right. Um, if you've been um, watching my videos and all, pretty much my videos are discussing how I discovered the genetic, <clears throat> the genetic blueprint, um, or the genetic grail, or holy grail, to how mankind was um, created, and through these bizarre images that we see in, in these bizarre biblical stories and um, 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 bizarre mythical stories of how mankind was half human half creature and animal and all of this how most of these stories are referencing historical moments in time which were pr pretty much 80, 80 to 85 percent of it were true because these things were actually these moments where these references were um, references of that of how mankind was genetically bridged over animals and these moments actually happened um, never proven but then and again it was proven because there were people artists or any I mean I mean why in the world is that not in there are, are Africans why are these references not there you know why because they are encrypted they're encoded in there because they knew that that was the key to you understanding who you were so it was never included every renaissance artist pretty much did the same exact thing from Michelangelo to Leonardo da Vinci um, um, to Rembrandt I mean these guys knew Bernini they knew that for you to see the ape in here then they would know that, that that there was a significant value in that creature being here and the genetic blueprint as to how mankind was created now there's the little monkey down there okay that's the that's, that's the smallest inkling of an idea just a little baby monkey our ape ancestor though however is actually there he's right here 
right there. His head is right there. And you, and another likeness, a darker likeness is of him is here. You know evidence of it. Now, I'm gonna take and um I'm gonna show you something here in this in this painting with Adam and Eve and all. All you got to do is either Google um the Garden of Eden or just Adam and Eve and this is one of the popular searches of the images that have come up. You don't see no ape in here. You see a little monkey right there. Right there, but you don't see the actual reference of our ancestral ape. Would you say, well, how come this is that's not in here? Because and this goes to show you how they tried to hide all of this from our black man, our African. Our come how come you don't see African in here at this point? You know why? Because it rises to the level of encryption that lets you know that if they if that was in here, if they knew all of this, then you knew that they knew that mankind evolved from ape and and Africa but look none of that stuff is included if you notice in all of these images of Adam and Eve why is there no reference of ape and um other people in places like um some of your ancient rooted religion and and um um, religious um, sex, they knew how mankind came into existence and how we were created. And it was actually kept from us. Um, this should come as no surprise because this stuff is already recorded on um, on glyphs that are in um, ancient Egypt, on monument walls, on, on um, in temples, pyramid temples, in the Mayan culture, and at, at Angkor Wat. Um, and it was just been just all in in them with the it was uh, Sumerians, with the Anaki. All of this stuff was already referenced on how mankind genetics were intermingled with that of these creatures of our world, dinosaur and everything else. And um, our culture, our modern day culture and science and technology, just didn't, just didn't let us see it that way. You know what I mean? They always said that there was no proof. While the people on the higher up level of this totem pole of knowledge knew all along that it was factual. In fact, they had. Hello, everyone. I'm Jerome right here again, and um, you're with me again on my YouTube um, Jeronification channel. Um, I'm creating yet a um, another video, and I'm back here at a different painting this is the um, Garden of Eden that you're actually looking at here and um, untitled artist I, I guess we'll find out who that is later there but um, I'm going to be doing a few pit images of um, of um, the Garden of Eden um, one is um, again is untitled and I guess the other one is by um, I think it's William Shang and um, are strange, 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 strange. I guess it is, and um, from 1896. And I've done a um, a a Garden of Eden or Adam and Eve image of um, a Titian um, some time ago, and I created a video and put it here, and um, it was just based on images and everything that I seen. I guess, it would, um, but it was very little explanation of actually what was being gone, what was going on, and what's being referenced in these Renaissance artists' art. Well, not even Renaissance art.